Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog series. Today I'm traveling to Los Angeles. Um, I'm at Heathrow Terminal 3. It's a really exciting trip because I'm flying upper class um, uh, to, to Los Angeles. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head in, hopefully check in, uh, and then head to the Virgin Clubhouse and I'll show you what that's like. Um, but this trip's gonna be really special. Um, I'm gonna be flying to LA, I'm gonna be there for a few days, and then I'm heading over to Hawaii uh, stopping off at Maui first and then to Oahu. So really looking forward to it uh, and let's head inside. All checked in and now we're heading to the Virgin Clubhouse. So we've just made it in, this is the private upper class wing and then down there is the private security uh, but you can actually come this way instead of going to the normal check-in. Um, but now we're gonna head over to security and then into the clubhouse. All checked in, just gonna head to Boots, get some uh, toothpaste and a toothbrush, and then off to the lounge. One thing that's really cool is there's a little chair in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the outside spot that is kind of hidden in, in this lounge. So up here, I believe, is one of the only lounges that has sort of an outdoor terrace. So I'm gonna go and see what this is like. So you can see all of the planes from all over the airport. But it's really weird to be able to stand outside when you've just checked in, but really cool little little feature of the uh, the lounge. This is definitely one of the nicer lounges I've been in. I've got to be quite quiet because it's really quiet in here. But it's got this cool little Instagram photo spot. And then, have you ever seen a lounge with peloton bikes in here like it's just incredible i don't know who would want to do that but you can ride on a peloton while watching the planes but i'm gonna head out and get some food so i've just got a little small plate of snacks i've got some smoked salmon and some cheese and some uh, salami and then i've ordered a mayo chicken burger um, for my main but really nice in here um very different to a lounge that you can pay for. This is the burger that came. We've got fries, chicken burger with slaw. Um, really impressed by the presentation. Um, and let's see what it tastes like. I think this is gonna be the last little snack before the flight, but this is what I've got. Just a nice little cookie. Um, and then I'm gonna explore the lounge a little bit more and, and see what it has to offer. So we're around about an hour until I head to the gate. Um, and I've just treated myself to a little uh, raspberry cheesecake. Um, one thing I've noticed in this lounge is that they're so friendly. Um, anytime you need anything, um, they're there to help. Um, so it's been a really positive experience. And I'm really, you know, it's an 11 and a half hour flight, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but this is the cheesecake I have just been given. So it looks really tasty. It's all really high quality stuff. So I'm going to enjoy this now. <laughs> So I've just got on the plane, um, it's beautiful in upper class, um, we're just about to take off, um, but the seat, I'll give you a full tour later, but really nice. So we've just changed seats because the seat wasn't um, reclining, um, but on board you get a little goodie bag uh, and a can of water, uh, but really impressed. Another cool thing is there's a tail cam, so you can see where you are. Just about to take off. just come in the toilet uh, we're just about to start the dinner service um, the flight's actually going really quick uh, it's actually only going to be a 10 hour flight now one thing I have noticed is in the bathroom in upper class there's actually a window so while you're you know doing your business you can see 35,000 feet in the air uh, but look at this I mean it's just incredible look a window while you're on the toilet incredible so we're still flying over the Atlantic um, and dinner service is about to begin. Just before we head for dinner as well, I'm in the loft. 
um, and this has basically replaced the bar, so it's just kind of a seating area, um, you can have a bit of communal space, and behind me as well you can see uh, the live feed of the plane, um, so as you can see we're, well, all I can say is we're very high, um, so I'm going to head now for dinner service and see what I've got. So this is what we've just been served for the starter. I've got some apple juice, uh, it's a chicken parfait, so essentially a sort of pate and then a ciabatta and some butter. Um, but very nice presentation um, and just relaxing. Um, really good service so far. Just got the main course. Um, I've got chicken, dove and white potatoes and peppercorn sauce and this is what it looks like. And while I'm eating this I'm watching the hangover. So there is the main course, there is the hangover and there is the ciabatta bread. So I'm going to watch this and maybe have a little nap. Just had um, the main meal um, and for dessert it was bread and butter pudding. Bread and butter pudding or some sort of um, cheese board um, but I really wasn't in the mood for that. Um, so the fantastic flight service manager has just brought me a chocolate orange cake. Um, so I'm going to munch on this and then I'll probably have a nap, but honestly the food has been spectacular, um, it's really great service, I think it's great service whichever class you're in, um, but it's just really relaxing, um, it's a really nice vibe and I'll keep you updated on what I'm going to do next, but I think what I'm going to do next is really going to have a bit of a sleep, because um, otherwise I'm going to land and it's going to be 3 a.m. So um, I'm going to enjoy this now. I've just uh, put the seat flat, got all of the mattress and mattress toppers and I'm going to turn it into a proper bed. Having a bed helps so much. Um, I'm going to watch the hangover and I'm going to have a bed uh, sleep. But it's just so cosy and I've got an 11 hour flight. So we're about five and a half hours away, um, just flying over northern Canada uh, and then we're going to head down all the way to LA. Um, so about five and a half hours to go, um, so I'm going to have a little nap. I have just got changed into my pyjamas, I've been really quiet because a lot of people are asleep. Um, and now I'm going to have a little nap, and then we're currently four hours away from LA. Um, so a little nap will help, but I'll see you soon. I've just woken up, I've had about a two hour nap. Um, we're currently about 52 minutes away from Los Angeles. Um, so I'm going to get changed and then I'll be ready to, to sort of get off, um, but I think I'll still be pretty tired uh, when I get there, but I had a good nap and uh, time to get changed and get ready to land. So we're about 21 minutes until we land. And one of the best things about this seat is the ability to obviously recline it and this has made the world of difference because you can have it fully flat, you can have it sort of in a reclining position um, honestly made such a difference on such a long flight but 21 minutes uh, and then we should be in Los Angeles one thing as well that's different is the seat belts can over your shoulder in the class it's just like a car um, a bit comfier uh, so just about to land I'll get it for you alright thank you thank you and just like that, we've landed in Los Angeles. I'm gonna go and get the bags and then head to the hotel. So it's currently about eight o'clock, I think here. Um, really tired, um, just ordered an Uber, about $30. Um, and it was cheaper than the taxis over there. So I'm gonna to head to the hostel slash hotel um, see what it's like and then get some rest for tomorrow. So I made it to the hostel. I've got my own room um, in the hostel, but I'll go and, and kind of see who everyone else is, but I just wanted a, a room of my own. Um, but really easy check-in, um, literally on Venice Beach. So super close to Santa Monica, hopefully, um, and I'll be able to get to things pretty easily. Um, from here, I'm gonna go uh, to sleep because I'm absolutely shattered. Travel day has been extremely long and one of the longest I've ever done. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here and then there's a lot more vlogs coming in Hawaii and Los Angeles of different things that I'm doing. Um, but like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.